Jesus said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Morning prayer continues on page 79 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Please join me in saying, Christ our Passover. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Today's psalm comes from chapters 26 and 28. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have lived with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for your love is before my eyes. I have walked faithfully with you. I have not sat with the worthless, nor do I consort with the deceitful. I have hated the company of evildoers. I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go in procession round your altar, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and recounting all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with, with sinners, nor my life with those who thirst for blood whose hands are full of evil plots and the right hand full of bribes. As for me, I live with integrity. Redeem me, O Lord, and have pity on me. My foot stands on level ground. In the full assembly, I will bless the Lord. O Lord, I call to you, my rock. Do not be deaf to my cry, lest, if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you. When I lift up my hands to your holy of holies, do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers, who speak peaceably with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doings, nor of the work of his hands. Therefore, he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I have been helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe ref refuge for his anointed. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them, and carry them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the book of Exodus. At the third new moon, after the Israelites had gone out of the land of Egypt, on that very day, 
they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be for me a priestly kingdom and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people, and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one, Everything that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud, in order that the people may hear when I speak with you and so trust you ever after. When Moses had told the words of the people to the Lord, the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes and prepare for the third day. Because on the third day, the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set limits for the people all around, saying, Be careful not to go up the mountain or to touch the edge of it. Any who touch the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch them, but they shall be stoned or shot with arrows. Whether animal or human being, they shall not live. When the trumpet sounds a long blast, they may go up on the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people. He consecrated the people, and they washed their clothes. And he said to the people, Prepare for the third day. Do not go near a woman. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning as well as a thick cloud on the mountain, and a blast of a trumpet so loud that all the people who were in the camp trembled. The Word of the Lord. Let us say together the Song of Moses on page 85. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Colossians. Paul an apostle of Christ, Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. 
In our prayers for you, we walk, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints. Because of the hope laid up for you in heaven, you have heard of this hope before in the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as it is bearing, just as it is bearing fruit and growing in the world, so it has been bearing fruit among yourselves from the day you've heard it and truly comprehended the grace of God. This you learned in Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant. He is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, and he has made known to us your love and spirit. For this reason, since the day we have heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives of the Lord, fully pleasing to him. As you bear fruit in every good work, and as you grow in the knowledge of God, may you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience while joyfully giving thanks to the Father, who, in it, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The word of the Lord. Please join me in saying Canticle number 19, the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done. Surpassing human understanding, your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O king of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in saying the Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect for the Second Sunday of Easter. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and the lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the third prayer for mission at the top of page 101. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. I now invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. Please join me in the prayer, General Thanksgiving, on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 